the Lord is good. Wow. To God be the glory. Let's put our hands together as we welcome Prophet Samuel. Now the, the fathers have spoken. Let one of the sons speak. Can somebody celebrate Jesus? Can I hear a shout of celebration? The way you are celebrating, can you jump up on your feet and give a shout? If you are seated behind, can you jump up on your feet and shout glory? Glory! Somebody celebrate Jesus. Before I before I move ahead. Can we celebrate our spiritual parents? Now the way you are clapping the devil is a pastor. Can somebody celebrate Jesus? Amen. Amen. Lift up your two hands. I just have 25 minutes. Amen. Lift up your two hands. Say, Father God, as I pray today, as I, pray today I, receive I receive grace. I receive grace. I receive grace. Jump those signs and begin to pray now. Yes, begin to pray. Everybody, be jump, jump your hands and pray. pray, pray. Yes, yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. I have to repeat prayer points very fast the first prayer point that i have this morning oh my god lift up your right and say father as i make this prayer i receive grace say father now let me tell you something any prayer you don't pray from your heart will never change your life. Any prayer you don't pray from your heart will never change your destiny. And if there is one thing that can change your life, it is called the spirit of prayers. So we are going to make three prayer points. Number one, Hebrews chapter 4 verse 9. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 9. The Bible says, Every minute, therefore, a rest for the people of God. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 9. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 9. There minute, therefore, a rest. As you pray this prayer, now look at this. Jehovah will give rest in your life. I said, Jehovah will give rest in your life. That your amen is, is, is having a problem. Now look, whatever you don't pray from your heart. Many people are restless in their lives. They have no peace in their homes. They have no peace in their business. This is what you are going to pray. Oh God, give me rest. I don't hear your voice. Oh God, give me rest. I don't hear your voice. Oh God. Now, the Bible says, let us labor to enter into rest. How do I labor to get into rest? I, I labor, labor in prayers. As I labor in prayers, I will arrive a level that Jehovah will give me rest. Oh God! 
as I labor today in the name of Jesus give me rest jam your ass put fire in a prayer as I labor today as I labor today yes father give me rest jam your eyes and pray jam your eyes and pray Recommandota, Fata, Emmanuel Kappa, as I labor in prayers, in the name of Jesus, give me rest in my life, give me rest in ministry, give me rest in my business. Amen. Amen. I now know why you don't have rest. Because the way you pray for rest, <laughs> the Bible says labor to enter rest. There are two ways of laboring. I can either labor in my business or I labor before God. When you labor before God, you will not ever labor, labor before man. When you labor before God, you will not sweat in your business. You will not sweat in your career. Your amen is looking for my problem. Somebody say, Oh God, as I pray, give me rest. Jam your eyes and begin to pray. The person on the chest, band go on yourself. Jam your eyes and begin to pray. Give me rest, Father. I need rest in my life. I need rest in my career. I need rest in my education. I need rest in my marriage. As I pray, oh Father, give me rest. 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 Prayer point number two. <laughs> Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. If you labor in prayers, you will not labor in your life. Talk to your neighbor, neighbor, say neighbor. 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 Our labor is in prayers. When I labor before God, now, now listen to this. When I labor in prayers, when you stand in your business, things will begin to answer for you. Christ will begin to answer for you. I stand under the anointing of my Father. I declare and I declare. Somebody is entering into rest. Somebody is entering into rest. Now, do you know your problem? You come to church as a religious activity. But what you don't know, God needs only one Sunday. He needs only one Sunday to do something in your life. I believe by all the apostolic grace in the house, something must occur today. Say, Father, I receive grace. Number two, Genesis 21, verse 6, Sarah said, God has made me to laugh. Can I prophesy to somebody? That, where, where am I speaking? Where am I speaking? Where am I speaking? Where am I speaking? Are you there? Are you there? Can I speak to somebody? God will make you to laugh. If your amen is more than that of your neighbor, I said Jehovah will make you to laugh. Now look at this. My brother, you cannot laugh when there is war. You cannot laugh when there is sorrow. You cannot laugh when you are in depression. When God gives you laughter, it means that the war is over. Ah, are you here? Are you here? Are you here? I stand on this altar. On 
under the anointing of my father you shall laugh after this service your amen is not born again when you see a pregnant woman when the woman is in labor she cannot laugh she cannot laugh there is pain she's carrying a child she's carrying a vision you can only laugh when God delivers you you can only laugh when God gives you rest you can only laugh I have come today to prophesy under the mantle of my father as you live today somebody will contact laughter if your amen is more than that of your life God has made me look at it and Sarah said this is my prayer after today there will be a good news when you hear that news you shall begin to love my brother look at this and he said and Sarah said and God has made me to laugh and listen to this all those that hear all those that hear will laugh with me I prophesy I see people coming to celebrate with you they where you are saying amen I don't like it in a prophetic ministry you don't receive you catch it what what did i say in a prophetic ministry you don't receive since the days of john the baptist the kingdom is violent it is the violent you are there you have not laughed for one year you have not laughed for six months and then now a prophet comes and prophesies I hear the voice of God I hear this voice I hear it now in the next one week you shall laugh you shall laugh you shall laugh as I prophesy, that news, when you elders will hear it, I see people coming to you. They are saying, Congratulations. I did not come for many people. Maybe I came for one person. My father, do you know what I saw with Jesus? Jesus traveled. He crossed the sea. He met only one man the madman of Gadara when Jesus delivered that man he told the disciples my mission is over one man can I talk to you when you read that story that one man the next verse he brought Ten cities to Jesus. I am not here for many people. I stand under the anointing of my father. One person will laugh today. One person will laugh today. Say, Oh God, give me laughter. Give me laughter. Jam your hands and pray. My father, as I begin to pray, look at the way you are praying you have not laughed since the beginning of the year you have not laughed since the beginning of the year look at the way you pray i shall laugh somebody say i must laugh and sarah said god has made me to laugh and i prophesy jehovah the god of our father he will make you to laugh i say you shall laugh you have been crying for one year you have been crying for your marriage you have been crying for 
for your children. Oh, Amen. I come and I prophesy. You shall laugh. 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 Father. Father. As I pray, I shall laugh. Jam your hands up. Recommend it today. I have come to pray. Today is the last day. Today is the last day. I've come to declare. Last prayer point. Last prayer point. And then now, the Bible says, Are you prepared for this? Where should I pray? Where? 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 Behind there, are you there? 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 Who want to hear this one? I am tired of seeing people crying in prayers. I believe in another tears. Let me say tears I believe in. It is called the tears of joy. Ah. As from today, may the tears of sorrow be changed into tears of joy. There are so many people for one year you have not laughed. For two years, only problems, depression, afflictions. But I come to pray. The God of our Father shall make you to laugh. Somebody say, My time has come. Stand now, sir. Last prayer point. Are you there? Are you there? Last prayer point. The Bible says, Wow, this is this is dangerous. Jesus yes. change water into wine. This means anything can change. Water was changed into wine. It means that follow, follow. Sickness can be changed into healing. Uh, that man is looking for trouble here. It means that poverty can be changed into prosperity. It means that celibacy celibacy can be changed into marriage. No matter how that situation is, Jesus can change it. Yes, good afternoon. Where am I talking? Where am I talking? Yes, yes, where am I talking? Can I pray for you? Today, I see water change into water. I see sickness change into healing. Uh, if your amen is more than that of your neighbor, I see poverty. Uh, we don't serve a dead God. We serve a living God. He is the same yesterday. He is the same today. I have come to inform you. There is no hopeless case with God. Even when doctors say it is not possible, Jesus will say, I can change water into wine. As you pray now, whatever is water in your life. Ah, Lift up your two hands. Lift up your two hands. Say, Father. Say, Tata. 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 Any water. Any sickness. Any pain. In my life. Let it be changed. Into blood. Let it be changed. Into soul. Can I prophesy? The mantle of my father is on my head. Can I prophesy? Now remember, whether you say amen or not, it's not my problem. I'm here 
in this crowd I'm looking one person one person that will leave this place the life will move from zero to twenty one person the ministry I have not come all the way from Cameroon to entertain you we serve a living God he is the same yesterday he gave laughter unto Sarah he shall give you laughter father any water any sorrow any problem in my life as I clap my hands as I clap my hands as I clap my hands let it be turned into wine let it be turned into joy let it be turned into wine what is wine what is wine when people drink wine they begin to laugh when people drink wine they begin to celebrate can I pray any situation in your life on this altar on this Sunday you will remember you will remember that in the month of October Jehovah visited me and my soul was changed into joy and my tears was changed into celebration I declare and I declare under the mantle of my father as from today any pain any poverty it is changed it is changed it is changed Congratulations. I hear people telling you. Uh, can I speak to somebody? You have never been used to. You have never been used to this word. The only word you have been used to. What is the problem? The only word you have been used to. It is anger. But as from today, under the mantle of my father, I usher you into a new season. It is a season. On Monday, you shall rise up with a phone call. Congratulations. On Tuesday, they will call you. Congratulations. On Wednesday, your mother will say, Congratulations. On Thursday, your husband will say, I am proud of you. I decree your season of sorrow on this Sunday. It is over. And when Jesus, when Jesus, he saw the man that had been sick for 38 years, he asked that man, I know you have been sick for 38 years, but do you believe that the problems of 38 years can be solved in one minute? My problem is not your problem. My problem do you believe that that pain is leaving you today? Lift up your two hands. I'm closing in 10 minutes. You shall laugh. My father, one of your granddaughters in America. I know she's connected. She has been in America for, for, for many years. Many years. She has a, a great degree. She's an engineer. 
great job. And she told me, he said, my father, I want to have a dream job. And I told her, I'm going to pray with you. And I stood with her in prayer. Look at what blessed me. When I we, we stood in prayers, this lady, do you know why I'm giving this testimony? It shall become your testimony. It shall become your testimony. She went to one interview. This is a mega, mega. And as she went for the interview, she was taken. And it did not end there. Another company, which is international, all over the world, called her. Now, we want to employ you. And so she called me. He says, Father, I am confused. I have two major doors. I said, this one is a good problem. May Jehovah give you good problems. May Jehovah give you good problems. He said, what should I choose? Should I choose the job that is all, all over just America? Or I should choose the job that is all over the world? I said, just give me one week. I pray for you. May the God of my father give you a good problem. I receive grace. Now, number 10 minutes. 10 minutes. I asked myself a question. Tell your neighbor, say, No need to sit down. The prophet is left with nine minutes. Behind there, are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? There, are you there? Are you there? If you know that your sorrow is changed into laughter, <laughs> let me hear your shout more than that of your neighbor. Ask a question. I push I ask God one time. Why is it that? Many Christians. I a Christian. So far. In limitation. And many a times. They end up in failure. God showed me something. It changed my life. Who want to hear it? Who want to hear it? Who want to hear it? Now look at this. I'm telling you in eight minutes. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Christianity. Winna Christo. Christianity. Is not a faith of freedom. Christianity. It's a faith of responsibility. Now, I want, if you are behind, stand up. I want to see your face. I want to see your face. Now, no unserious Christian has a future with God. Hear me and hear me well. God is not a promise keeping God. He is a covenant keeping God. Many Christians. They say, Prophet, I have been in the church for 10 years. My life has not changed. Been in the church for 10 years. That is not the problem. But the problem is. In those 10 years, what is your level of commitment with God? Where are they saying amen? Where are they saying amen? Where, 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 where? People there are not saying amen. Are not saying, I will speak here. Can somebody celebrate? Pastor. My bishop, listen to this. One this. of the things I discovered. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The only people God worked with. I want to on earth. Are people that he had a covenant with them. There are billions of people on earth. 
But God decided to walk only with people that he has covenant. What is a covenant? What is a covenant? A covenant is an agreement of engagement between two people. Now, help me. Now, there are many ladies in this church. But now, you are in a covenant with her. You are committed to her. She is committed to you. You have a relationship. The way you are clapping, if you are clapping, it's not clapping. Coming to church doesn't change your life. Your level of commitment with God. Look in the Bible. My father, I discovered Abraham. Abraham. God came to Abraham. Genesis chapter 10. Abraham. Abraham. I want to get a covenant with you. I cannot work with you if we don't agree. If we are not engaged. I cannot be committed to you. And you are not committed to me. I cannot be faithful to you. Do you know your problem? You want God to be faithful to you. But you are not faithful to God. God punish the devil. It is the problem of the church. My father, we have the crowd. But what is the covenant? Now look at this. Christianity. Many of you, you are too free to be called a Christian. A Christian is not free like that. You are not disciplined. You are under no authority. On Sunday, you just appear in church. Father, bless me. It doesn't work that way. God, He is a covenant keeping God. He is not a promise keeping God. A covenant is a commitment. If you are serious with me, I shall be serious with you. If you are faithful with me, I will be faithful with you. Can I close here? Let me preach with you. Your level of commitment towards God will determine the level of commitment of God towards you. Do you know why many Christians are not blessed? This is my question. Are you a Christian or a covenant daughter? Are you a Christian or a covenant son? My father, Dada. this is what this is what shocked me. It's oh God, uh -huh. Father, help me here. When I talk about this, it is as if I should begin to run. People don't understand. Jesus, yes, sir. he walked the earth. When he walked the earth, when he was about to go, he took the bread. He broke the bread. He gave to his disciples. He took the cup. He says, we must have a covenant. The Lord's Supper is not a meal. It's a covenant. And Jesus, he broke the bread. And that is why. Where am I talking? I will talk to my father. I will talk to my father. You are looking at me. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. Say neighbor. After today, your life must change. My father, when Jesus, after he died, when he came back, Peter had left. Peter went for fishing. And then I'm left with two minutes. And then Peter, he went for fishing. What did Jesus use? Jesus came to the shore. He took the fish. He broke it. He gave to Peter. He took the cup. Peter said, Hey! 
this is that covenant Peter said my lord I submit to you being a Christian is not enough you'll be, you'll be fooling yourself take it down 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 I want you to hear I'm not here to excite you I'm here to give you wisdom I have been a pastor now for 23 years I have seen so many frustrated Christians I have seen so many people that don't want to hear the name of God but when I made my investigation I come to discover there are many people on earth but God will only walk with a man or a woman that he has a covenant he has an agreement he has an engagement yes yes I can only be so committed to one woman I can speak to you but there is a level of intimacy you can never see because I have a covenant just with one woman that is it with God you are too free to be a Christian too free no discipline you come to church when we are preaching you are looking at us and then after Papa pray for me is it magic? I'm not a magic we are not magicians look in the Bible Moses Abraham Abraham had a covenant Noah, Noah had a covenant. Moses, Moses, all the people I want to say that worked with God. I want to say. God wants to verify how, how serious you shall you be with me. If you are serious with me, I want to assure you, I will be serious with you. Lift up your head up. As I close, stand on your feet. This is a series. I am a I taught it for one morning, Cameroon. My father. I am a The whole church repented. I have never seen the level of commitment I'm seeing now. People are too free. No discipline. You you have you have no commitment towards God. And you want God to be committed towards your business. No wonder you are sweating in your business. And if, if because of time, every covenant has to be benefit. Number one, protection. When you are in covenant with somebody, if somebody touches your wife, you will, sla you will deal with the person. So what are you doing? When you are in covenant the greater power protects when I travel all over the world I am at peace I know my covenant with God I know no devil can touch me if you try there is a host in heaven that will eliminate your generation and your family why I am too precious for God you are always afraid. Always afraid. Hey, will I die? Look at your mouth. Look at your mouth. Will I die? Enter into covenant. When you enter into covenant, the mighty power will protect the lesser power. I decree and I declare from today, I see God as you shall be walking. The Lord will say, Touch not my anointed. Don't touch him. Oh, you are ah, not saving. We as you shall be walking, I see angels. Angels who say, Nobody touch him. 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 That is how your life shall be protected. Somebody shout, Governor. Number two, when you're in Covenant, Covenant gives wealth. Lift up your hands. I'm done. Celebrate Jesus.